Hello, you are watching Economic Yonder, provided to you by InstaForex News Team. On Thursday and Friday, marketplace will concentrate on substantial U.S. economic data, figures of durable goods orders for December and initial jobless claims for a week ending January 21st are due. The number of people who claimed unemployment benefits is seen to increase by 371,000 versus 352,000 a week before. Another economic indicator to be released is new home sales for December and GDP changes for the fourth quarter. Japan will publish its CPI headline figures for 2011. So, in November 2011, the volume of durable goods orders in the USA grew in relation to October by 3.8 percent, having thus exceeded the preliminary data of 2 percent. In October 2011, durable goods orders remained the same, despite the focused 0.7 percent decline in the index. In November, durable goods orders, including transportation, climbed 0.3 percent month-on-month. In December, this index is predicted to move further up by 2.1 percent compared to the previous month. Passing to new home sales, this index gained 1.6 percent in November last year, fixing at 315,000 houses. This is the highest headline figure since last May. The actual reading proved to be much better than the forecasted 314,000. It is worth noting that the volume of U.S. new home sales have been on increase for the third month stride since August, when the index hit its low since February 2011. The reading forecasted for December is 322,000 houses on a monthly basis. As for the land of the rising sun, it will release data on the National Consumer Price Index. In November 2011, the index demonstrated negative dynamics. This is the first time for five months. In comparison to October, the fall was 0.6 percent, the sharpest decrease in the CPI since July 2010. A month-to-month -month decline was registered in commodities, minus 0.8 percent, and in services, minus 0.3 percent. In relation to 2010, the National CPI also dropped to minus 0.5 percent, even though analysts projected a 0.4 percent decline. Therefore, it should be mentioned that after a short break, deflation afflicted Japan again, which has put a negative effect on overall country's economy. In December, the national CPI is predicted to fall by 0.2 percent on a yearly basis. It was Economy Calendar presented to you by InstaForex. Follow our next releases and goodbye.